I can't escape from them. No matter where I go, they follow me. Looking at me like I'm crazy. These are ads. This is an ad. This is an ad. This, this is a wet sock. I yearn for the days where children can frolic around, untempted by money-hungry business owners. Has this ever happened to you? You're watching a YouTube video and all of a sudden it breaks to show you something you did not sign up for. Well, now introducing Blanger. Simply apply the product to the affected area. Oh god, I hate adverts. But ever since I bought Blanger, Blanger. Blanger. My generation, my father's generation, the generation before his, they have never known peace. Yet, they are a necessary part of life. They fuel the economy, they pay my bills. I'm curious, Pastor, how many ads are there? <sighs> they like white noise to me, I just ignore them. But what if, what if I noticed them? I truly noticed them. Wow, you're good. Yeah, for one week, I'll count them, starting with My descent into the advertisement rabbit hole has begun. I saw three ads before I went to bed. Two for TGI Fridays, one for Timu. Timu, I thought to myself, isn't that the company that employs child labor and steals user data? I suppose money speaks louder than words. By the intensity of Timu's ad campaign, I would assume YouTube is doing rather well from this deal. Shame not same for the employees. The next morning I woke up, went to my computer. I saw two HelloFresh ads and one Artlist ad. I also saw a dementia ad uh, because I was looking up stuff related to dementia. And this was my first tailored ad. An advertisement that is more intrusive than a stalker is completely okay on platforms such as YouTube. I also got an ad for this thing called Bristol Sound Studios. And also an app named Hero Wars. Oh my, Hero Wars. This ad campaign was more abrasive than leprosy. 9am, I was still editing. I saw one Galaxy Chocolate, two Hero Wars, one Muller Yogurt, a Perfume ad, and a HP ad. I got on the bus, and to no one's surprise, saw two ads for Stagecoach and also Megabus. I also saw an ad for Udder. When I got to town, I was overloaded with ads. I mean, I could add like a hundred right here, but I'm gonna stick to my rules. I only noticed stuff down that I saw while passing. I didn't go out my way to look for ads. I saw a laptop ad, super drug, a nail salon, some food ads, something called Thrive, I think. A phone ad, a stage concert, Greg's, and the gym. I got to college, um, I went on my phone, I saw an advertisement with something that says, um, I love MILFs, it's very funny. I also saw webuyanycar.com, and the Garfield movie and the FNAF movie, which both look terrible. It's 1am now, I saw an ad for child, <laughs> whatever that means. An ad advertising putting up more ads, it's a vicious cycle. Uh, children in need, football, two McDonald's ads, and a cake ad. 2 p.m., I saw Gumtree, a thing for period stuff. Blockstack, Totem, the FNAF movie, iPhone, and Domino's. At 3 p.m., I noticed one ad called Class Sticks. At 5, I saw an advertisement for the Dentist and Garfield movie. 7 p.m., I saw two Spotify, two Nike, and some Childline ads. I don't know if my phone is telling me to get help or something. Big Pen, BBC iPlayer, and Job Swipe. 9 p.m., Timu, JD, and something I think it says Last War. And after that, I was home with my girlfriend and didn't really see Oh, pay attention to any more ads. So that is Monday. I tuck it up into bed after that and close my eyes. I've been having these dreams recently. Ever since I started this project. Every time I close my eyes... I reopen them and I'm in this treehouse. The place is dusty and decorated with strange paraphernalia. I notice there is a map placed on a raised platform. Curiously, I take it and leave. I follow the path to the X as best I can. There is an advertisement. There's nothing particularly interesting about it, yet it catches my eye. Everyone else seems to have ignored it. Perhaps they have just become so overloaded with advertisements, they have become numb to it. There was a phone number on the sign. I hesitantly typed it into my phone. Hello? Wake up. What? The first ad I saw on Tuesday was for JD, a clothes company. <laughs> clothes. I haven't bought clothes in a while. 
Truth be told, I've been quite stressed recently. I don't want to talk about it. Or think about it. In times like these, I like to distract myself. I like to look to my phone. I turned it on, opened YouTube, and saw another Hero Wars ad. A fucking Hero Wars ad. God, if you're real, I have just one question. Why? A ten I saw Shopify, two HelloFresh, Stuve, and Rock Block. Then eleven, I saw yet more Hero Wars, almost as if to mock me, to kick me when I'm down. I also saw Disney, HelloFresh, Google Workspace, two Shopify, Warhammer, and a poster for some man's club. At twelve, I had to leave because I had an optician's appointment. In reality, I was quite excited about this. It's a good opportunity to see ads. This video is warping my perception of even going outside. Yet. On arriving in this little local town, nothing. A few meters back, there was electronic billboards with ads for Tesco, coffee, cars, chocolate, links, yet nothing in this little town. No big business thought it was worth the money or hassle. The town is never quiet, so I have to assume it is because it is located in a low-income area. Or maybe the place is just a shithole. I did see a couple market ads. Um, local shop. Tesco ads, flower shop stuff, hair ads, lol surprise toys, and, and go figure. At the opticians, I saw about uh, five glasses advertisements. While I was on my phone, I saw ads for Amazon Music. Leaving the opticians, I saw a phone repair place, some Christmas advertising. Walking home on one of the big boards I mentioned, I saw some cars being advertised. I saw Lynx, Nutella, uh, coffee, and some chocolate also. When I got out, I went to my grand's house. Hello! I saw two PlayStation ads, Mobile Games, Monopoly, Android, Argos, Beats, Headphones, Fashion Brand, Shopify, Twice, ITV, Amazon, More, Fashion, Stuff, X, L'Oreal Paris, Displate, Hero Wars, Scrabble, Walkers, and Maltesers. I saw so many ads from a combination of watching YouTube on the TV and scrolling on my phone. Uh, I had unintentionally created the perfect ad farm. However, perhaps these advertisements acted as a respite, in which I could look away from the screen and talk to my grandmother, connecting with her ever more slightly. Or perhaps they're just fucking annoying. It was around five when I got home. I saw two Hero Wars ads, one car advertisement. Oh, I did, I actually decided to watch the GTA 6 advertisement that came out around this time. Uh, I did search for it, but it is also technically an ad. I also saw something for Hogwarts Legacy, a uh, Hankel laundry, I don't know iPhone, HelloFresh, PlayStation, two Hero Wars, uh, an open world RPG, and some Elon Musk crypto scam. At seven, I saw stuff for Domino's, Nike, HelloFresh, yet again Hero Wars, and, um, well, I didn't notice any more ads after that. I guess it was time for me to tuck her up into bed. Who is this? I have a business opportunity for you. What kind of business opportunity? A lucrative one. Maybe things were finally looking up for me. I agreed to meet with him. So Wednesday. Um, I was a bit thrown off on Wednesday because I fell... very ill. <coughs> hey guys, I'm ill. Still, I pressed on. I overslept, so got up at 10. I rushed down to the bus stop where I saw a stagecoach ad. On the way, I saw an ad for a building company. I saw a van parked out front of college advertising plumbing. There's also an ad for Morrison's and the pet store. And finally, when I got to college, I saw an ad for Rim Wonder on the P. Later, at 11, I saw an ad for Nike, Pepsi, Grammarly, an anime game, Beat Saber, a thing called Blue, and... I saw a product being advertised by Danny DeVito. Danny... DeVito. <laughs> I mean, if he uses a product, it must be good. I mean, he's a celebrity. Oh, Danny! Look at you, with your perfect hair. Shh, shh, shh. I bet you have it all together. With your TV show or your multiple movie cameos. So many perfect celebrities. Emma Watson, Emma Stone, Emma Dale. The cast and crew. They're all perfect! With their perfect little lives. And their perfect cheekbones. And their perfect jobs. I wish I could be them. Then I would be happy. <clears throat> um, then later, my friend let me his bicycle. I cycled home. When I got home, I played Sky Factory, because oh, it's a good mod pack, I've been getting into it. 
On the Cursed Forge home screen, I saw some advertisements. Later on, I saw ads for Light No Fire, Displate, Virgin Media, Netflix, Twice, Avatar, Cabri, Domino's, Twice, Hero Wars, Electronic Cars, Walkers, Fredo Bar, Shopify, Now TV, Timu, Twice, Tesco, Beauty Products, and my girlfriend drew this picture of a rat. I don't actually know why I got so many ads uh, during this period. I think it's just because I had YouTube on in the background. YouTube is an advertisement powerhouse. As a matter of fact, it can get in the way of my productivity quite a lot. See, I use a lot of YouTube videos in my videos, and not having YouTube Premium, it's quite frustrating having to put up all these ads. Around one o'clock, I decided to go back outside to see some friends because I was bored. <clears throat> in this time, I saw ads for PlayStation, SSO Star Stable, JD, Display, Grammarly, and HelloFresh. Then eventually I got in my car to go meet my friends. Uh, on the way there, I saw an ad for a tire company, an air conditioning replacement, a noodle bar, and a warehouse. When I got there around two, I saw an ad for Sainsbury's, a dating app, and Pizza Hut. I went over to my mate's house and didn't really see any more ads after that. Until five, where I saw this weird advertisement. I can't really describe it with words, I wish I took a photo of it. In my notepad, I wrote, no money for bigots ad. It's basically an advertisement saying that bigots don't get money. Okay. I saw an ad for HelloFresh, Light No Fire, Cyberpunk, Hero Wars, Rogue Trader, Displate, Perfume Stores, and Fireworks. Then at 11, I got home, I saw two Hero Wars ads, Heinz, JD, Hannah Cook, PlayStation, and Displate. This is uncomfortable. And that was Wednesday. Um, not the most exciting day. Um, at the end, I got up out of my chair. Having moved around all day, I was quite tired, so I tuck it up into bed. <laughs> he was very strange. He wore all black and was crowned with an ominous white mask. What, what is this? Sit with me. <clears throat> um, Thursday was quite disappointing. My illness completely overcame me, so I just kind of stayed in bed, really. I did see ads on my phone, on my computer and everything, but I can't really disperse it with anything. So here is a list of all the ads I saw on Thursday. Feel free to read through that for those <laughs> interested. All right, Friday. I was feeling a lot better today, so I stumbled out of bed at like 11 a.m. and ran down to the bus stop. So on the bus, I saw two stagecoach ads and two megabus ads. While driving, I saw ads for a flying horse thing, a house for sale, building construction, udder, SRJ, and some Welsh thing. When I got to town, I saw like five various Christmas ads. I also saw eight various ad posters. I also saw an ad for St. David's Center. Then, at 12, me and my friends saw this bowling ad. We thought it would look cool, and decided to check it out. The bowling alley was a completely pleasant experience, but I couldn't help shake this feeling that didn't sit right with me. We wouldn't have come here if it wasn't for that ad. So I suppose it was successful to that degree, but it had me questioning my own will. I had no intention to bowl at that alley, yet I did. Does a thirsty person choose to drink? What is free will? If this bowling alley ad was able to change the course of my day just from a glance, what could advertisements with a more nefarious goal accomplish? What if that bowling ad was propaganda? Would I have become a bad person that day? Would the entire course of my life have changed from a simple glance of that paper? My eyes darted around the bowling alley. I saw food being advertised. Then, my stomach began to rumble. No. I have free will. I won't eat that burger. I won't bomb central London. When we got out, around 1, I saw ads for vapes and home bargains. Later on at 4, I saw a MetaQuest ad, ASOS model management, a design class. Um, then I got home around 6 and grinded out some Slime Rancher, because it's, it's actually quite a fun game. I would like to know what's going on here, please. I can offer you 100% of your money back. He promised a 100% money back guarantee. What do I have to lose? I have a date. Me and my girlfriend are gonna go out for a little meal. Little did she know I was gonna be embarrassing her the entire time taking photos of advertisements. <laughs> hey guys, we're in Cardiff. <laughs> so, I started it off at 10 a.m. with a MetaQuest ad and various other ads, including UK models, modeling tips. I also saw an Aru London ad and a Cyberpunk ad. I saw two Transport for Wales ads, and we got into Cardiff, I was greeted with Weatherspoon's ad, uh, Ocean Shrimps, Peppermint Bar, Tiki Super Club, Christmas at Peppermint, Sunday Service, and Andrew the Handyman's van. 
We got to the tan center, I saw a Smirnoff ad, Las Iguanas twice, four more ads for different restaurants, a drink ad, two ads for this club, Give Diff or something, McDonald's and John Lewis. When we got inside, you had these like electronic screens that were showing ads every two seconds. I was craving just sitting down in front of them, but that's cheating, I'm gonna count that as spawn camping. I saw an Apple iPhone ad. I saw this cool astronaut. It's not an ad. There was some cool art. There was this thing of Johnny Depp there. I don't know if you could legally sell art of Johnny Depp without his consent. I'm just waffling. Oh god. I saw a Maltesers ad, birthing gas. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh, Br British gas. Some Christmas stuff, a perfume ad, a new chicken run, and Burger King. It was around like three when I kind of just stopped paying attention and got on with my date. At seven we went out and I saw a Revolut ad. I went on my phone and saw about three acting agency ads, and then I went home. I was sat on YouTube for a bit, uh, I saw a Hero Wars ad and an Apple ad. And yeah, that's... that's all I've got for Saturday. So I don't really know, um... Not much else to say. I'm not the kind of fool who's gonna sit and sing to you. About stars, girl But last night I looked up into The dark half of the blue And they've gone backwards So, here we are The last day um, <laughs> to be honest, not much happened on Sunday. I sat in my room, uh, reminisced a bit about the project. I think I started on the script as well on Sunday. The ads I saw on Sunday were Hero Wars, Shopify, Pot Noodle, Aquaman, Display Twice, Fume, Spotify, Amazon Twice, M&S, Little, and finally, now, TV. A bit anticlimactic, but hey, climb the fuck out of my ass. I was satisfied with my results. Um, at the end of the day, I was able to get up and tuck her up into bed. <laughs> I gave him all my savings and he left. I almost knew this was going to work out for me. Except, I was wrong. You know where this is going. This is a long-winded metaphor for how easy it is to be caught up in an online scam through false advertising. Although, of course, for some people, it's not a metaphor. I didn't really know how to segment this into the video. There's been this increase in creators completely taking advantage of their audience. But uh, hey, there doesn't seem to be any consequences, like, ever. <laughs> so, like seriously, are there no like, laws prohibiting this shit? <laughs> like, some of these creators scam their fans out of like, millions. And everyone just, everyone just moves on. I have no power uh, against any of these millionaire elite YouTubers. But I just thought I'd use my platform, my voice to say like, Hey YouTube, what what the fuck, <laughs> you know? You should let that shit slide. And there are great creators out there, people I, I look up to, really. But there are a few who will use, like, loose advertisement policies on YouTube and on Twitch just to fucking drain you of everything you've got. So, you know, be careful. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about that. I don't want anyone to take away, like, any anti-advertisement sentiment from this video. The irony is not lost to me that this video is monetized. While I've been critical on certain companies and certain advertising practices, I think it's incredible that a guy like myself, you know, with a chip on his shoulder and the world in his eyes, can pour months of work into a, a passion project and post it and have the potential uh, to make revenue off that. So you're all dying to know, how many ads did I see overall? Hold your fucking horses, alright buddy? So you've made it this far in the video and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, okay? If you comment, like, and subscribe. It uh, it shows the algorithm that this is a good video. So how many adverts did I see overall? Well, uh, brace yourself, buckle yourself in. I counted them up. I saw a total of 338 advertisements. It's been anticlimactic, actually. That's it. That's the video. That's it. <laughs> there she is, Miss America. There she is, your ideal. There she is, walking on air she is. Fairest of the fair she is, Miss America. <coughs> it's nine in the it's fucking seven a.m. <laughs> My neighbors. <laughs> but do do seriously consider subscribing. Um. This video took fucking forever.